And we're back with ice cream, as promised. Terry Ton and Susie are back with a very delicious, but also germy round of hot topics. I'll get into that in a minute. So I was just talking about ice cream truck treats with producer Joseph. So what are your favorites? Drumsticks. Drumsticks? And the one that you have as well. I love a push, push pop. Up. This is a Slurpee brand. I'd never mm -hmm. really tried this before. They're delicious. So nostalgic too. Push it. I would always get those from the truck or this one. Was it, do you guys remember the commercial? Don't push me. Push a push pop. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Using but the it. bullying culture of the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's amazing about push pops is whoever was the genius that came up with the idea that I could take ice cream and shove it in an old toilet paper roll yes. and serve it to children. I mean, that's brilliant, right? Who, who wouldn't want to eat ice cream out of a toilet paper roll? Thanks for Carrie. ruining it for me wow. forever, Terry. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's thanks for the visual. And um, <laughs> is that as good as I remember it from like 40 years ago? I mean, what would help it if I could doctor it in like, I don't know, gin? To look at that gin and juice <laughs> thing? Like, right? You have a, a, a glass of gin and you just dunk it in? That would make it taste better. Well, an adult popsicle. You know what? Hey, you do whatever you want to do with your push pop. We're only providing them. <laughs> um, all right, maybe actually you could write about it on the new um, social media site thing called <laughs> Threads. Platform. Move over Twitter, that is right. Threads from Instagram could be the new social platform that we're all looking at. It's owned by Meta. It just launched yesterday. I haven't signed up for it yet. Mm -hmm. um, so, but y'all have. Terry was there. I'll put my name down. What is it like? <laughs> um, so I signed up for it, and I haven't used it yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm like the guy that's. I got the FOMO, right? I fear missing out. And I see all my friends online last night talking about Threads. It's the new thing. It's the new Twitter. And me personally, I'm not a fan of Twitter anymore. Uh, you know, since the Elon guy took over. <laughs> He's kind of ruined it for me. You know, he, took my little, he took Elon. my little blue check mark that I had to come on this show like a thousand times know, to get. I know, that blue check mark thing. But you know what? Instagram's no better. I, I've been doing this TV thing for something years, <laughs> and they've never given me a blue check mark, but like Susie Q, who makes, you know, pancakes, got not, one in three not days. Not this Susie Q, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not that Susie Q. I have heard, I haven't been on it, but I have heard from uh, actually Rebecca, a uh, producer on the show, that she's liking Thread because it's almost like old home week. You know, people that she had disappeared from Twitter or had left Twitter, she's finding again. Do you want to get a separate app? Like, what is it? Is it like going to come to me in it, my Instagram? <laughs> no idea. It is Where, a, it's a is separate, it separate app. It's, it's like a separate, a separate app, platform? But it is an, an inst Instagram That's entity. another platform? It's not, yeah. oh, come on, I give up. It is, and again, it's just another thing to decrease our productivity. I think it's a conspiracy. The Illuminati is in on this to keep us oh, from yeah. being productive <laughs> and keep us from doing work. All right, Tom, what do you Illuminati. think, the Illuminati? You know, uh, Terry, I, I just feel like this would be a bigger deal if Mark Zuckerberg was trying to build the next TikTok. I mean, Twitter is like, there's no more innovation. It's just, this is for people who hate Elon Musk, right? <laughs> and it's like the cage match. Huh. A lot of buzz at the beginning, but kind of fizzle out. No one cares about it. This is great. I mean, the first 48 hours, a lot of people are going to sign up. Yeah. I think it's just, eh. Just another Twitter. You move on. Like right. I said, I signed up for it, and I don't even know what to do yet. So okay. when All I right. leave here, I'm going to go home and try to figure this thing out. Okay. And I'll, I, All right, you let us know. Will you report yeah. back? I may look gotcha. into it, but again, I'm sick of another pl Same. I mean, I never caught on to Snapchat, so like, I don't have time for this. Yeah. I'm not on it. Um, all right, another hot topic I'd like to talk to you about. It's called hot bedding. <laughs> have you heard of this whole concept of hot desking, where yeah. like you share a desk with someone? Um, well, apparently, hot bedding is a way for people to save money on rent. So, as allegedly, two strangers are sharing beds. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so, I went, I'm... <laughs> Everyone is silent. Speechless. Speechless. <laughs> Do you have to then wash the sheets right after? I mean, are there rules? There I mean, we, you just you decide we, between your hot better what you're gonna do. <laughs> so I've, you divide I've, up nights, I guess, basically. Susie, I'm embarrassed to say I thought about this way, way too much. <laughs> any logical, decent human being should. I can see this as a side hustle for me. I mean, I have a townhouse, okay. I have a spare bed, and I ha I would have a tier system. Like, if you need a bed at night. 
Then it's like Sunday night. It's like Sunday evening on HBO. It's prime time. Oh, okay. So I'm going to charge oh, okay. you premium. Prime time bed. Charge, charge premium hours. hours. Okay. Well, and do you, you understand, the Susie, ship? that you're sleeping with the other person that you don't know? No. I, no, I don't think that person's in the bed. Yeah, no. I think they're sleeping in uh, the same bed together. No, no, no I think uh, you're just borrowing it like you would a desk. No, I think, yeah. It, 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 either way, to me, is a no. It's a no-go. That's nasty. I don't want someone, if especially if it's my bed, I don't want another stranger sleeping in my bed. I don't want people I know sleeping in my own bed. Like, I got homies that I'm really cool with, but you can't sleep in my bed, right. man. I'm sorry. This is too far. So it doesn't right. make it better that you don't know them? No. I'll sleep. I, you know, I, I, this is probably a holdover from working in the mornings for so long. I could sleep anywhere. I don't yeah. care who's sleeping next to me. I'll sleep. I might right? drool on you too. Sorry about right? it. Right? It's, it's a side hustle. This is it great. It is a side yeah. hustle. Right? A good if one. you need my bed in the morning, I'll rent that out. But if you drew or you sweat, then there's a penalty okay. for that. And Sunday Get nights or more. Walk, right. walk people's dogs. Get to know. Babysit. <laughs> Get another side hustle, but don't share your bed. Oh, with I, think, you better. I think it's time to put this hot topics to bed. But thank oh. you all for being oh. here. I see what you did. Love you guys. All right, and thank you all for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. And you can always send us an email and share your thoughts. But most importantly, get out there and enjoy your new day. <laughs>